I'm Robert Remick. I'm from Boca Raton, Florida. I'm 53 years old. I started racing back whew, probably when I was 18. Uh, this car here that I have now, I've had for probably 10, 15 years. It went from a racket car to a full race uh, shootout car. Uh, and I'm now going back to the street with it. Uh, the car, the fastest car, it's been 729 in the quarter at 198. Uh, we raced it for many, many years with the NMCA. Uh, we quit back in 2010. Then we put the car back on the road for, for like car shows and stuff like that. So now the car is at the point where I'm moving it back to like a, a street type car. I'm morphing it back into a street car instead of a race car. The car has been through several different motors, different transmissions, different rear ends. Uh, it's been around for a long time. I did the paint job on it in my own backyard, by the way. Uh, everything else I've done, I've done myself, the motor, the transmission. My wife has helped me through this whole process. Uh, we used to go and we hit the circuit for three years straight. Big motorhome, bus, with a stack of trailer. We would hit all the NCA races throughout the country. Three years in a row we did that. Uh, we've, we've been in several magazines and several shows too also. Uh, now, it's kind of like relaxing time where the car's now being Hampered and not raced and just kind of like being shown off. Well, I love the car. The car's been with me since it ran 14s, then it ran 12s, then it ran 10s. Then we changed it all around and put a chrome molly cage in it. Then she started running 9s and 8s. Then the fastest, it got to 7s with a 632 with a three-stage nitrous motor built by Chris Nelson, which is the Nelson name you see right there. That's a Chris Nelson motor. He's in Tampa Bay in Florida. Uh, when we got to that point, we started racing uh, throughout the United States for NMCA. It was just like, it, it was like such an addicting thing to do. It was so fun. We only did it on weekends though, it wasn't my full-time job. I, I worked construction and I had a little crew going, was doing pretty good. And uh, we just, just started going out and racing and NMCA we did for three years straight and did a lot of good things. The car, in my mind, will probably end up going to my, uh, my granddaughter. My son-in-law wants it so bad, but I think I'm gonna give it to my granddaughter just to give it a little kick. Does she know that yet, or is she gonna He kind of has the idea that I might do that. Because I'm still, I'm still doing it, and he's, you know, he wants it, but I think she's gonna end up getting it. She's right now, she's four years old. Okay. So, so I'm gonna have it for at least another 10 years, maybe, maybe 12 years. Charlie Ferendi from uh, Boca Raton, West Boca. We're at Packy uh, Sports Grill in West Boca. We have a, a monthly cruise night, the second Saturday of every month. This is my 1970 Super B. I owned this since 1978. Uh, street car, I raced it at the track a few times, and I, I love it. I belong to the uh, Bar and the Mopar Connection Car Club, and uh, we have a great time down here in sunny Florida, although today it's not sunny, we got a little rain going on. All right, I bought it when I was 18 years old uh, in uh, Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Uh, I bought it for $400 and, uh, and I traded for a 72 Cat Catalina, uh, 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 Pontiac Catalina. Uh, it was, uh, uh, it was uh, kind of a uh, rust bucket, uh, basket case. I changed the engine, uh, repainted it in 91, changed the rear, it had a, a stock 8 3 quarter, I put a 410 Dana in it. Uh, the engine's worked about 500 horsepower. Uh, put a roll cage in, frame connectors, drive shaft loop, pinion snubber. Raced English Town for uh, about 10 years on and off. Echo Speedway in South Jersey, West Hampton, Long Island uh, Speedway. And down here with the county line a couple weeks ago for the first time. Uh, fastest time ever, 11.54 at uh, 120 miles an hour. And it's full metal, uh, no nitrous, full interior, just uh, slicks and juice.
How you doing? My name is Mark Galensky. I live in Boca Raton, Florida. This is my 1937 Packard. It's one of many cars I've built since I've been about 16 years old when I started everything. I always wanted a big car. I found this car in Daytona in 1996. It was pretty rough. A 110 year old gentleman owned this car prior to me buying it. And it was Battleship Gray when I got it, knowing I was gonna turn it into a street rod. For about two years, it ran around Battleship Gray with a straight eight cylinder in it. Then we decided to get serious with it, took it apart, and this is what happened to it. It's a fully Ford powered car, since I work for Ford. It's a 5.0 Mustang fuel injected motor, uh, Mustang 2 front end, Explorer <laughs> rear end. Um, not many body modifications have been made to the car, other than the fill roof, which is out of a Dodge Caravan. And other than that, the car's uh, full power steering, air conditioning, power brakes, power windows, went a little over the top with this one. I started building cars when I was 15 years old. I built T-Buckets, I had a 1934 Ford five-window coupe, 1934 Chevy two-door standard sedan, and always wanted a big one, and that's how we wound up with the one we've got. And we are currently building with friends many other cars. Since I can't afford to build another one, I just help out where I'm needed. Cheers. Cheers. The powder in your head, it's shining. Wait, let, me, let me fix my hair. It has in my eyes. There you go. All right. Okay. <laughs>